Hello and welcome to a new episode of my NL200 live session reviews on GG Poker at the Rush and Cash tables. As usual, I am going to play one table and try to explain all my thinking processes during the session. Let's go! So here's the table, let me put it here, okay, nice, let's start. Ace off. it is a hand I am going to open if everybody else folds, and let's open it. Not calling a 3-bet though, he folds, he 3 bets and we just fold. I would say with, with no inform villain, it's just better to fold it. But in general, I mean, ace eight off is, is just a terrible hand. Let's fold the jack eight suited. Six seven off is definitely a fold. This one is not, <laughs> let's see. Of course we got a three, but the UTG. Versus a 4 bet, I might color my shove depending on the flow and villain. If I think my opponent is 4 betting with a tight range, I might just shove it. If I think he has also a decent bluffing range, I would say Ace is, is a pretty nice call in position versus a 4 bet. Jack 6 off, just a fold versus UTG. I would have called maybe versus a small race from the small blind, but I don't like the call call in any other situation. King eight off, just a fold. I would have opened if nobody else did before me. Eight use off sweet, well, clearly a fold. Eight four suited as well. Jack four off, we let it go. Jack seven off. It's usually a fold for me on the button, but given the big blind is a recreational, I might open anyway. And when I have a recreational on the big blind, I like to open it bigger than usual. That's why I made it 3x. Once again, guys, I mean, uh, I I'm not even sure that who has a green label is a recreational. Just if, if I put a green label, it means the player sometimes, well, or I saw some very weird thing at showdown, or it means I saw some weird line like limping, open limping, or like, you know, sitting with a double stack like in this case. So, I mean, don't get angry if you see yourself with a green label, not, nothing personal, just, just what it looks like. Okay, we open this guy calls. I don't mind taking a step on this flop. We have few turns to keep firing on. Not three. The three of diamonds is just a check and we'll we're going to let it go. Yep. We had many turns to improve, but I would say that was one of the worst. Pocket uses from here. Sometimes I open, sometimes I fall. It's a 50-50 thing for me. So it really depends on what the randomizer says or the table. If the table is soft, I like to open it more often than not, of course. Let's take just a stab here on this flop versus this recreational player and choose on the turn. If we get to the turn, we don't get to the turn this time. So we just fold, but I don't mind the C, but well, it would have been an interesting turn if I want five hearts. 10 use off, we just fold. King Jack suited. Okay, I don't like to call call from the middle position versus the UTG. I am going to choose this combo for a trivet in position. Let's see what Villain does. Well, we have a call call from the small blind. That's pretty unusual. Gives a four bet of, of course, we just instantly fold, but also UTG calls. Oh, we just check back here. I have no info on my opponents, and I don't think it's a spot in which we should usually bluff that much. People will stick around with, with many things. We don't know them, so I would just try to get some extra equity on the turn. 
We don't, unluckily. Five of spades, pretty bad turn. I'm just going to fall here with no info, but in general, I, I don't think we have a reason to continue on a card like this. In a three-way pot, especially. We just fold and move on to the next hand. Fourth enough, we fold. For nine suited, I might call if small blind opens. Otherwise, it's going to be a fold, but none of that is going to happen. We just get the blinds. Pretty nice result with a hand like that. Let's fold the small blind before it's off. And let's hit this button. 3 6 off, too weak to open, even if you're on the button. I don't think I ever open that on the button, even if the blinds are kind of weak. Maybe if they're both real needs and I know I can open any two cards, yes, but without that info, no. This is not a hand in my opening range from the cutoff, but I see the blinds are both recreationals probably, so I like widening my opening range. Quite a bit, and, that, and that's something I suggest you to do, you know. The blinds, I mean, a regressional player in the big blind is going to play very loose, so you know you're going to play with him, that's a very good thing to do in position, so I think it's it's pretty good to, to just widening your opening range, I think it's a, it's a good idea. Queen enough, if I already fold I am going to open this, but versus a race of course it's just a fold, nothing else to do really. Let's see the button now, queen deuce suited. Could have been also fold. It's a close hand on the on the button. I would say, well, when when somebody opens, it's a clear fold. If everybody folds, I would say we can sometimes open, sometimes fold, depending mainly on the blinds. If the blind, if we, if we don't expect many trivets from the blinds, I I really like the open. If not, I think we can also fold that and maybe open queen four, queen five, so the plus things like this. King it off. Let's see if we can get to play this hand. If we can play this hand, I mean. Well, limper, we may, we may play with a limp if there is no isolation, and I just check. If flop hits, I'm going to check the flop, maybe bluff the turn if he checks back. I don't like the bet too much with no equity at all, because it's a board which connects with many hands, and now I don't mind firing twice. I think the average player would bet on the flop with a flush throw or a straight throw, so I think bet betting twice on the bigger side is probably a good strategy in the field. If... Okay, well, I, I, I couldn't choose the size, so <laughs> let's go for this one, which I don't like. I don't think it's good to, be, to bet this big. I will bet probably about 4, 450, something like that. But, well, that's the size I had time to choose. We fold that. Ace for off suite. If everybody folds, we have an easy open, but we have a race when they cut off, and that's just a fold for us. King three off. We fold that as well. Jack it off. Easy fold for us. Jack three off suite. It's going to be a fold, unless like small blind opens to X. In this case, we, we may call very widely, but that's still close. Ace King, pretty interesting. Table looks soft so far. We are going to three bet uh, a guy who looks like a recreational since he's not sitting full stack. We get a cold call, which sometimes is bad, sometimes is good, but if we have a king and the flop is this, uh, it's usually good. I'm going to bet big, I don't mix my, I mean, I don't balance my sizing when I'm versus a recreational here. Good value, big bet, simple as that. Of course, if I was versus a regular, my plan could be different. Here it is, we are of course going to get it in. No other option here. He got the set, lucky guy, not much to do. And he got it, well, luckily he wasn't full stack, but that's something good <laughs> to see. But yeah, I mean, once you trade it and this flop hits versus a bad player who is not even full stack, I think there is not much to do than get it in. Ace enough, let's see if we can play this. 
Okay, let's rip it. I mean, let's open, not rip it. <laughs> I would have rip it if, small, if the button would have opened. King 6 off, just a fold. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Ace 10 off, we open from UTG. No info on the blinds, unluckily. Okay, we got the blinds. That's something. Check for off, we just fold. King deuce off suite, it's a fold with no info on our opponents in the blinds. Queen for off, of course, same plan. Queen 3 off suite, it is going to be a fold versus a 3x. I could have called versus a smaller sizing, but I don't mind the fold versus a 3x. Let's open this 10 jack off. Villain tribute is pretty close. I don't mind folding in general. This flop hits. Uh, I wouldn't bet my range here, and I think this hand could be. It, it's a. It's it's pretty close between a bottom of my value betting range or just checking it as a mid value hand. Let's go for the check. Turn is a three. I prefer the bet here at this point. Even if it's kind of close, we could still check again. I don't mind it. Villa makes a big raise, we have pretty bad blockers here. We block with the Jack of Hearts most of his, I mean, not most, but many of his draws. And I will just fold it with no info on Villain. I think it's the safe approach here. Of course, if you know more about him, we may choose to not fold at hand, but it's really the first time we play together, and I have no reason to think he's getting out of the line there. Wint enough, I am going to open it, 3x, with the big blind being uh, a recreational, or something like that. He calls, we flop pretty, a pretty nice board, and again, versus, versus people who may be recreational players, I do not balance my sizings. And things like this, big value equals big bet, and that's it. Most of the times, of course. Depending on the board texture, of course, if I, if the board is king, eight deuce, and the half pocket kings, maybe I'm not going to pot that, but I hope you got the idea. Okay, as fell off, I would have defended that, but they didn't let us. 5-4 suited, I mean, if the table is soft, and it looks kind of soft, we may choose to open it. Pretty close. I would definitely open if the big blind was a recreational, but I have no idea. Might not be. But you know, if we have few weak players behind, or people we marked as recreational players, they probably do not rebet that much, so we can open a bit wider. But this time we got 3 bet, and I would say in position versus a potentially bad player. It's probably a bottom calling range this one. I'm not going to play this flop anyway, if he bets, it's just a fault for me. Unless he bets something silly like 8 bucks, things like this, then of course I can call, but anything like well, like that, especially, <laughs> I'm just going to fold. Ace 5 off suite, we are going to open it if already folds, but that's not the case. Ace 2 suited. 3x, given the big blind marked with the green label. Too weak to open this, even if the big blind was a recreational. Instant suited. It's going to be a 3x open if cutoff folds. If the cutoff opens, I could have also just called call my hand. Of course, it's a hand we'd like to tribute in general, but first of all, in GG Poker, we pay the rake when tributing, which means our EV is a bit lower when we make a tribute. 
and in general uh, having two weak players on the blinds I think all calling rises up in value so for both those reasons I would say call calling there would be would be pretty nice if the cutoff opens of course but he didn't so we just opened 3x and bombed that pot that flop with a uh, top pair decent kicker Limp UTG when you see a limp UTG usually we make the green label for the guy meaning he's probably a recreational of course he might also be a regular who just misclicked that happens sometimes but chances are he is not Pretty close here, uh, in position versus the Razor, the other guy behind is a very rational. I think we can both color fold. I have no strong opinion on any of the lines. Let's see, it was the classical limp race with aces, but it was not. The flop hits, I am going to call on the flop usually, unless Willem bets like the pot. And once he checks, I would say King 3 suited, we may just want to bet here and play it a bit more straightforward than we would versus somebody who is probably balancing more so I like the bet there for protection mainly with a chance to improve on some turns Queen 8 off it is going to be an open if ever defaults villain on the big blind looks like a recreational but okay 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 6-5 off nothing to do there of course jack 3 off sweet we just fold that twice <laughs> i think also they were the same suit if i don't if i'm not mistaken it's rare to get the same offsuit hand twice in a row i don't know probabilities but pretty down low i think i'm gonna call pocket sixes here and let's see the flop well not the flop we were hoping for and it is just going to be a check fold. Probably I have way better hands to continue here than bucket sixes. Even if I have a better flush row. A pretty bad one to be honest. So I don't mind just folding it. Pocket kings. Let's see if we can get some action with them. We have a recursional player opening, which is a good sign. Let's see if we can get the money in, that would be sweet. He calls, okay. The flop is not too bad. Let's go to bed. Let's start by betting about half pot. I don't mind making this. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate that. Okay, let's just bet. 18. He calls, jacks, jack on the turn. I would check with a very high frequency versus a regular, but versus a recreational player. I think it's just better to bet big and call if he shoves. Of course, we're not very happy if he shoves, but still, I think it's a call. He might have something to beat. Like overplaying some jack, some ace of diamonds, which he won't have, but let's hope he doesn't have any diamond. But what we just check back here? Oh, God. That sucks. That's why we like to bet big on the turn because he's going to do pretty bad calls and we want to build the pot when we are ahead. Ace then off, we are going to open this if already folds. They don't. We aim for off sweet, we sweeted, we just follow CG anyway. Five this off, it's a clear fold. Jack five off, also it is going to be a fold. Four this off, nothing to say there. Six four suited, just fold that. King three off, I would have opened since the blinds were recreational players, but nothing else to do there. Once somebody else opens. Ten and off. Usually a fall from the cutoff, but I'm going to open given the blinds who are marked as recreational players. We get a cold call from the button. Let's see if the big blind does the same. No, he squeezes, so we just fold. Of course, we don't continue with that. Use for off. It's a fold. More than suited. We are going to defend that. Well, 4x is a bit too big to defend that. 
I would have defended versus a 3x, not versus a 4x. For 6 off, we just fold. King 8 off, we fold. I mean, plus close, given the blinds who are recreational, both of them. But I don't mind folding it. It was really bad hand, all in all. 7 years off, we fold. Check 9 suited. With a call call, the guy is probably a recreational player since he doesn't have the auto rebuy on. I am going to take a team value on the flop, will unfold unluckily. Or luckily, who knows? I mean, when you have a hand like that, I would say even if he folds, we can be kind of happy. Doesn't change much. It's just a fold, unless they limp, of course. Okay. Check three off. We let go. As queen deuce offsuit. Jack it off, we fold. That as well. We don't like a sex offsuit at all. Let's fold queen six off from the button as well. Six nine off. Nothing better. Eight nine off, we fold. Seven eight is suited, let's see. So how we can play pretty frequently, but versus UTG and knowing from big blind, we may also just fold it. Time to time a tribute is fine, but not a huge fan anyway. 5-6 suited, let's see, from the big blind. We are going to play that more frequently probably. We call versus the cutoff open, the flop. It's okay, we have a mid pair. I am going to check call this one. Unless VLAN uses uh, pretty weird sizes, of course. But this size is fine to check all for us. Queen of Diamonds in the turn. Just going to check fold usually. That's a pretty nice river. And I am just going to overbet here. Hoping he calls with bluff catcher. No, he does not. There are many busted draws, so I expected some bluff catches on his side. Even if usually I prefer to start, I mean, if I have no info on my opponent and no history or flow, I usually tend to overbet bluff a bit more frequently than doing it for value. But I mean, time to time it's fine to do it. Also because now if you're, if you're listening to this video, you're probably going to call any, any of my overbets. <laughs> so maybe it was good that you saw an overbet for value there. Who knows? Just going to fold that. Jack 7 suited, 7 9 suited this time. A hand we can defend pretty frequently from the big blind. Definitely versus the cutoff open of a recreational player. Not a nice flop, just a check fold here. Of course, we blocked that 10, but this guy is probably going to overplay all of his pairs, so blocking the 10 is really not that relevant here. And I'm just going to show down. I don't think he's going to fold an ace anyway. So we just let it be. Sometimes we might bluff on the river, hoping he folds jack high, things like this, but for example, I don't think he would have folded that turn or river, so I think we just saved some money there. Queen jack suited. Sometimes I hope and sometimes I fold under the gun. Depends a bit from the table. I see a few recreational players behind me, so I prefer the open. But of course, this action is not what we were hoping for. 10 5 off, we fold. Twice again, 10 5 off. I don't know if this time I had the same suit as before. Even for before, I'm not sure actually. Just gonna fall in 5 off versus an unknown B blind. Ace 4 off, we let it go. King 5 off. I'm going to defend versus the small blind, not versus the UTG. Six nine off, we just fold. Pocket queens. Let's open it. We get a call call from the small blind. Let's see if the big blind regular squeezes. If he squeezes, it gets pretty close. If to forbid or call. Well, he does not. 
I am just going to check back this flop versus an unknown small blank called color. Seems like the kind of board he would hit pretty decently. The turn is not getting better at all. Just gonna check back the turn as well. Well, now we split with anything but the 9. And we call the split. If you got the 9, well, look good to him. He does not. Well, let's split and pay some rake. Pocket Kings, let's see. We didn't have much luck today with our Master Hands. Let's see if we can change the pattern here. Don't know, Villain might be a regular. I don't mind checking back this text quite frequently. Queen of Hearts on the turn. If he checks, we might sometimes bet, sometimes check back. If he bet, clearly a call. Well, the river we have the net, so it's pretty easy. And we are just going to pot it hoping he goes for a call, does not. For 8 off, it is going to be a fold. Queen 7 off, we can open given the two blinds who are recreational players. They both fold, which is still an accurate result for Queen 7. Definitely not going to hope for a call anyway. Let's fold the King 3 off and 7 use suited. We just fold it. 8 for off again. Let you go. Ice King under the gun. We open. Let's see which action we get. If we get action, apparently. No, we don't get any action. Queen for off, we fold. King 3 off as well. 7 check off. Just a fold, of course. Ace Jack off straight from the big blind. An interesting one. Versus button opening, I would mix this hand. Sometimes call, sometimes 3 bet. Let's this time call. This flop hits. I might call a small bet. Like one third. I would probably fold versus something like this. Definitely. I mean, with just a bad vector, I think. We are better off. Queen 8 off, we are going to open if our default, but they do not, unluckily. 4 use off, we fold. 6 use off, nothing better. This one is a bit better. 10 jack suited, we open cut off, typically calling a 3 bet. We receive a 3 bet indeed. Let's see if we get a 4 bet, no, okay, then we get to see a flop. Okay, I am going to check all this flop, probably, I'm not in love with his sizing, but still once I feel like we have to call, and that's a nice turn. We may sometimes shove if he bets, and here on the river, I prefer to bet myself than to check, versus an unknown. At least, nice. Okay, we got something back. Let's see this bonus spot if we get lucky. Probably not. I mean, I'm not a fan of playing this end here in a bonus spot where people will overreact <laughs> to all of my actions. Two acts are from. Well, I would have called the 2x from my recreational, but of course we do not play versus the 3-bet. 10 jack off, it is going to be an open if nobody does before us. Let's see. Tanking UTG. Okay. 
time for us to open. I'm not going to call a tree, but anyway, I don't like to call this hand. And we we get a tree, but so we just fold. Okay, guys, I'm going to sit out on the next hand. Well, <laughs> queens for for the final hand. Let's see if we get some action or if it's just going to be nothing like this. So. This time I lost, so you see I don't only post winning sessions this time. I mean, we had many interesting hands anyway, we lost about a stack, but I think it was pretty unlucky, all in all. I hope anyway you enjoyed the session, if you have any questions or comments, please post in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer, and see you next time. Bye bye.